it will probably appear somewhere on your screen. So it's setting it up right now. You'll see live at the oh, top. Okay. All right, there we go. All right, I guess we're live. All right, how about it? Word, um, everybody out there in the uh, in the webosphere and the uh, stratosphere, wherever you be out there. Um, my name is James Crows. I'm a local artist from Cleveland. Um, here on this 24 by 24 art therapy uh, session, we'll be going. Uh, I'll be presenting a live painting. Um, so I hope you all enjoy it. It's going to just be acrylic base. You know, the usual cotton canvas joint. Um, so like usually my process starts by like having some sketches, like sketch out some ideas um, and then just get like the composition down, you know, do your thumbnails, all that basic goodness. And then, you know, pick out your spectrum, you know, like your colors, you know, your warms, you know, your, your brights, your darks, like all that, all that goodness. And then, you know, like, make a nice little bouquet and then you just have at it so this is the sketch that uh i don't know if you'll be able to see it but it's in the top left there these these two heads right now and that was like the initial sketch going on here and here we got some other sketches um so yeah i've been doing a lot of uh contour drawings recently so this is going to be a little bit different than my my usual style but um, at the same time, I hope you dig it, so it work. And uh, if you hear any tunes in the background, that is the sounds of the Moa Main Collective coming live at you from the 216, so holla at it on your various streaming devices, your band camps and Spotify's and such. Um, all right. <clears throat> so, slide up the middle Now, uh, this particular one, um, it was inspired by a song that recently uh, is dropped by the, the legendary god, uh, Bussa Rhymes, Bussa Bus. Um, the name of the track was called uh, Look Over Your Shoulder, featuring Kendrick Lamar, the, the Pulitzer Prize winning Kendrick Lamar, by the way. Um, and it has this great Michael Jackson sample. And I, like when I heard it, it was just like one of my favorite songs in recent history. Um, so it's been on my mind a lot. Um, and it's like a very reassuring song. Um, just, you know, just about like the time like you spend with like the, the music and people that you love and like how you're always going to be there, much like the Michael Jackson sample. Um, just look over your shoulder. It's a very, it's a very good track. It's off his new album, Me Ali too. So, you know, if you're a hip hop fan, definitely peep it. Going on here. See, I think I actually want to take this line a little further over this way. This is just a sketch layer, though, you know. Like, feel free to sketch up. You know, do, do how you do. So, you, know, you can always paint over anything, that's always nice. So the great reason why I like acrylic because the results are fast. So like if you if you see something you want to change, you can modify that real quick. I need to get better about my oils, but you know one battle at a time. Okay. 
Okay, and I believe that we got the axis of the design down. You know. The axis of it. I don't know if that's like a technical term in art, but you know, that's that's what I call it, you know. I know it's a scientific term, but I don't know what it how that resonates with the art community. Um, <laughs> but work. Things a little crooked. I just want to make sure that y'all can see it though. Usually I would sit directly in front of it, but here we are. And here we Also, if I space out, please, uh, I apologize. Um, <laughs> sometimes I just space out and bang, you know. Um, I, I definitely say that my my environment of being in a uh, a basement dweller who who loves the sound of hip hop music late at night um, is it, it something that you get accustomed to. You just zone out. Get into it, make some happen. Here we go, bomb, bomb. Um, 
So now you see like the, the geometry of it, like linking all together, you know. Obviously, like I'm not painting it the way I drew it, but you know, because you know, brush strokes and such, but you know, it's how it's all kind of like linking together one one big line. Also, we do me a favor. Mm -hmm. one of these prompts if it doesn't sound like I've meandered off. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get your ideas? Oh, God. Since this is a, a open family channel, I'll say most of the ideas that I get are just from uh, just just from like you know day to day experience and or you know like social like social commentary, uh, you know current events, um, a lot of aspects of you know like history culture um those have always been a huge interest to me um so get a lot of ideas from that as well um that and a lot of comic books i, I like comic books a lot Like very answers, but like, what's your go-to music? Oh, go-to music is always, especially like you should always find something that you you are comfortable with. Um, sometimes, like you know, you'll just go with something that like you can just play over and over again. Like in that regard, it's always like something like soul music. But in general. It's always hip hop for me. It's always some some sort of hip hop, you know. But like when it comes to the like you're just trying to knock out a task and you're just trying to uh just like you know, just either do something redundant or something that is also like energy expending, I'll go to uh the soul music and the uh I'll go to the soul music and the classics. Tree. 
whole time he was standing right in front of me. You look so real. Why don't you smile? <clears throat> what artists do you admire or are inspired by? Oh. Um, I'll, I'll definitely say also with the, it's funny too, because one of my inspirations is like when it comes to art, um, like one of, uh, like one of my favorite artists is Shel Silverstein and, uh, you know, he's a very unique style, uh, children's illustrator, also work for Playboy, but was a children's illustrator um and uh he said the way that he got his style was because he did he made sure that he didn't look at too many other artists work um which i mean is a, a double-edged sword but still he's one of my favorites him and uh emery douglas for sure and then uh, as a youngin, definitely was inspired by the great Jack Kirk. Good old Jack. And also like, you know, there's like a lot of kids book illustrations. Pinkney's. Like, that was the jam back in the day. Just had a little wonky. 
My homie's high top is off. <laughs> Fix your high top, son. I just kind of like it lopsided. You like my lopsided? Yeah, that looks good. Good lopsided? Yeah. It's going to be rocking a weird Gumby, homie. Alrighty. All right, so this is pretty much, you know, the basis of the sketch that we got going right here. So, right here is the one thing, though. So we put that there, and then back down on the other way. Alrighty, bomb, 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 bomb. Here we go. Here we go. Nah, that's the way I wanted to do it. You want another question? Oh, no, I mean, well, sure, why not? <laughs> this is... <laughs> What's the role of an artist in society? Oh. Artist role in society. Mm. That's very interesting. Um, I would say I would say uh, yeah, I would say that the role of the artist, at least in my view, is for us to, you know, maintain a connected dialogue with the people and expression and allow that outlet and activate that space so that people can, you know, properly feel their purpose and, you know, fill their own potentials, expectations and realizations. It's a pretty hefty answer, <laughs> but it's a heavy question, you know, mm -hmm. heavy, heavy questions, heavy answers. So. Okay. Okay. Like that, then. Okay. 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 Now, when we got this sketch all together, um, you know, just figure out the blocking, like what you want the shadows to be, um, you know, pick like your next color and all that goodness. Um, usually I like to go from lighter to darker. This is me personally, um, just because it's easier to paint over. So take that for, for what you built. Um, yeah. Um, 
Some adult spaces, then go on to the next spot. Sometimes you gotta watch for the drippies. <laughs> as long as you get them early, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, alrighty. Feel much better about that. I know, uh, usually the way that I go with this is I'll take the highlight color and then make that the base for the highlight and then expand on that. So, like, for example, like the sketch color, I'll just lighten it up a little bit then maybe add like another aspect to it just so it's easier to Delineate. Can you hand me that yellow right there? Gracias. All right. And I mean, there's always multiple ways of going about it, but I'm a huge fan of the chisel. The good old chisel goes a long way. It goes very long. And then this is just like, you know, like the first, you know, like the first amount of highlight, you know, go on top of this again. You know, dry and brush it around a little bit, get that little fade in there, and a little painterly business. Hey, James, I do want to let you know that you've gotten a few comments, if you don't mind me sharing them with you. Oh, yeah, sure. So I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't even know that y'all are still on here. I'm my bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. No worries. Um, yeah, we just don't want to interrupt your process, so we try to stay quiet, but sometimes we gotta <laughs> pop back yeah. in. So uh, the first comment was from Nikkei. Um, it's just, yes, with a bunch of S's and exclamation points. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, then, Thank we you. Have a, then we have a hell yes, James comment, and then we have a Another one from the K saying, hey, James, I love the work you did in public square this summer. 
Thank you for sharing your gift with the city. Word. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. Mwah. You know, salute. Cheers. Word. Also, like, if you go outside the sketch line, you know, like, that's just the sketch line. Don't worry about that. You're going to go back on top of that anyway. Well, at least you. I mean, I am. This, <laughs> but, like, when you, do, when you do your sketch, you know, like, yeah. It's, like, yeah. It's all good. You paint over it. So it's all great. Um, I mean, I also say, like, I, I took printmaking um it's it's ccad so i also feel like a lot of my style is lended to that of uh, my printmaking uh, uh learning like by doing things in like layers and uh you know just like the, the process of you know and knock, knock out this layer then knock out this layer then drop the final on top and you know the final definition um, that and like street art as well, because that's pretty. That's pretty much how you do that too. Um, but I don't. I don't do that anymore. Um, too old. <laughs> Making from now. So you got this little kind of little dichotomous relationship between these two cats. So I, you know, I'm checking over their shoulders. Hope that everybody's been safe out here, you know, traveling pairs, safety in numbers, all that goodness. You know, things have been crazy like during this whole pandemic business, but uh on the other side, um I hope that you all have, you know, found a, a new sense of community and, and whatnot through uh, whatever um, organizations or, or or groups that you've been associating with. So I hope that's been good for you. Do that one more time. Put it on the window again.
can't censor my video though because singing licenses me. I can sing all I want, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Sing whatever I want. There we go. And then bam, bam, and then bam, bam. Should have said a timer. It is 9.43. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Please always. You got a late start. Talking so bad about much. Now it reminds me to shut up. <laughs> yeah, thanks, DJ. Why are you talking so much? Now, for the shadow business. I was going to do that. I'm going to do this. Get out. Sometimes your pain can be subtle. Sketchy. Go back in with the shadow. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's that cherry cola. I just wanted to give you a 10 minute warning here. Um, and I also wanted to let you know about the additional comments that have been made. Um, so we have Archie Green saying, love you, bro. We have um, another comment, Beige loves you, dude, and say hi to Mo. Hey, Mo. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Gary. Hey. <laughs> And then we have Lucas saying, keep up the dope work, my guy. <laughs> that's his up. That's his up. Well, love all y'all. Wow. Definitely going to be uh, yeah, having like a slight late start, but I'm happy that y'all been kicking it. I hope that y'all support, you know, make a donation. Just check out what the artists got out here. You know, all that you're also keeping your, your mental health together. I know it's very difficult, um, but you know, there are, there are resources out here, you know, people that you can call, please do that. You know, if you feel like you're in that, you're in that space where you need that assistance, please reach out. Um, you know, we, you know, we all, we all, we got, so please do that. Do not, do not be out here alone. And there's something on your mind that's, that's weighing on you. Please, please, uh, you know, share that load. All the questions, by the way, too. No, we got more. Oh. How has your art changed? Well, also, the art once again, this piece is not necessarily what my art typically looks like, but at the same time, it is definitely in the vein of my style. But, um, if you do happen to have Instagram, just look me up on uh, the James Quirles on, on the IG, and you'll, you'll see some of the other work. but this is definitely a lot more loose, um, but it still has like some of the graphic aspects that uh, that I've kept throughout my work throughout the years. Hey, I want to make like this a little bit darker. I want to make this a little bit lighter, you know. But you know, you got a good, you got a good range of 
of colors from, you know, mid to light to, like, get the basis of what you're going to build the ultimate, you know, the ultimate, you know, the ultimate result will be. So, I, I know I didn't get to, you know, put the, the final bow on it for y'all, but um, guaranteed it will be up on the website through uh, the Arts Therapy um, so that you can bid on it there upon its completion. And, um, yeah. Um, Uh, I love this brush. Woo, I love this brush. This is a good brush. Thank you, Blix. <laughs> Not like you need any money. All right, my friends, you have five minutes until the end of your time, unfortunately. Did you want to give a shout out to anybody or uh, give the viewers a place to check out your work? Any plugins here would be great. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I feel like I accidentally did some plugins already. Um, <laughs> but um, I definitely want to give a, a big shout out to, um, you know, just all the essential workers and, you know, all the nurses out here, teachers out here, you know, janitors out here, the, the people trying to, you know, save the stages out here. Um, you know, I want to shout out to all community organizers out here. You know, shout out to Safer Heights out here. Shout out to uh, Black Spring Cleveland. Um, you know, also big ups to my crew, the Moo. I'll see you all for the Browns game this weekend. Go Brownies. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, definitely check out my stuff on Instagram. I'll be posting up some pictures of this piece, um, depending on how I'm feeling throughout the night. Maybe done by night. Who knows? Who knows? But definitely uh, look up the James Quarles on Instagram. Very similar if not the same to the Beatles, like the, just the James Quirles. That would be a picture of uh, Muhammad Ali and Pele hugging each other, but that's my account. That's that's mine, so word. But there's a lot of cool art on there. Um, also want to shout out like OSA, want to shout out um, Midwest Cultural Lab, want to shout out the Hive. Hope y'all hive-minded folk out there doing all good. Um, did I miss any other organization? Oh, shout out to the Jail Coalition, um, Kevin Ballou, you know, the, the, the DDs out there, you know, Katie and Katie, Alyssa, hope y'all doing well out there. Um, and yeah, um, just everybody be safe, you know, take care of each other and, um, you know, don't forget about each other. Check in, you know, just say what's up, even if... Uh, you don't even have anything to talk about. Just hit your friend up and be like, hey, how you doing? And uh, yeah, you know, it'd probably, it'd probably be uh, going a long way, more than, more than you know. So, um, but yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's really all I have to say on my end. But uh, I just want to thank y'all for uh, tuning in and uh, the opportunity to paint for y'all. And uh, much appreciated. And um, you know, other than that, you know, follow me on the IG to see further developments when it comes to the arts and music, demonstrations, and all that goodness. Well, we appreciate your time and energy that you have spent with us. Truly, it's it's been a privilege and an honor. Thank you so much for inviting us in your space and allowing us to, to be with you for an hour and see your process. Um, thank you again. Yeah, no, it's, it's, good, it's getting there. You see where it's going, but you know. Um, it's getting there and it's looking awesome. Absolutely. <laughs> it's looking great. So thank you so much again for your time and, and your energy. And, you know, stay, stay well out there, stay safe. And thank you again for participating in our fundraiser. It means a lot to us. For sure. Thank you. Peace, y'all. Peace. Mwah.